Okay, weak base calculations are going to feel very, very similar to the weak acid calculations you've done. So if those all make sense, the biggest thing you need to watch out for is how our dissociations are different, which we just practiced, and what the X represents. If you got really good and comfortable with weak acids calculations, you probably were taking some shortcuts, um, doing Ka equals X squared over the molarity, and not thinking too much. You don't want to make that mistake here because X means something different. So for example, if we're finding the pH of 1.2 molar NH3, NH3 is ammonia. It's a very, very common weak base, so you'll probably get familiar with it. Um, same things we would do with weak acid. Dissociate, ice chart, do our K expression, except this time it'll be KB. So dissociating it. For a weak base, I add water. I use equilibrium arrows. The weak base steals an H plus and releases OH minus. In my ice chart, I never need to fill out the water column because um, water can't have a molarity. It's a pure liquid. It wouldn't end up in our K expression anyways. So you can always squiggly line that out. The reason I include it here is to know how to write my reaction. It's 1.2 molar minus X. We can still assume that the X is really small and we end up with 1.2 molar for the base. Zero plus X. Um, and then I can do my K expression. It'll now be a KB, products over reactants. So X times X, which is X squared, over reactants. The K value that we're going to get off the chart, make sure you're getting it from the base section of the chart. We're always looking for the K value of the weak acid or the weak base, whatever is on the left-hand side. Um, so when I look on the weak base section for NH3, I see a value of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. That's my x squared over 1.2. You can put this over 1 and cross multiply if that helps. Um, we get x squared equals 2.16 times 10 to the negative fifth. Square root both sides, and I get an x value of 0.0046. And you'll want to give two or three numbers but that aren't a zero after the decimal. Now, X represents something different. Your ice chart can always remind you what X represents. The thing we care about in this case that X represents is our OH. We don't really care about NH4+, plus, um, but we do care about OH. So for weak acids, the X always represented the H+, plus because that's what fell off. For weak bases, our X is representing our OH minus. So that's important because I'm looking for the pH, but when I negative log my X, my OH minus, that's getting me my pOH. So my pOH, if I negative log that, I get like 2.33. To get my pH, I have to subtract from 14. So 14 minus the 2.33 gets me 11.67, that's above 7, and this is a weak base, so that makes sense. Um, like we also did some backwards problems with the weak acids, where I could ask you to find the KB. All of those things still work with weak bases. Um, so all that's different, the dissociation and what X represents. Um, so go try the try problems.